on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keeps turning our way And our way is on the road again just can't wait to get on the road again Seeing things that I may never see again And I can't wait to get on the road again Titanic in it, but we avoided that. Anyway, it's, it's been it's been a great experience. 
I've learned things about myself I didn't know. For example, that I could go to two discos one night after another. And uh, they'd actually recognize me as the oldest swinger in town when I came in to collect. And now to come here and to look across through this wonderful terrain here, look across to all our country, looking across into Delhi over there, and then rather sadly looking at that blot in the soil, the prison camp in the Gilligan. And to people like myself from the deep south, who don't often see what's seen here, it is very sad to look across at that. But gladdening to be with people here from the historical province of Ulster, and to know that tomorrow, that Bishop Daly will welcome us in there to, to Delhi, and we'll be getting welcomed in the Guild Hall, and to know that we'll be shot in there down at Green Castle. And I hope that when I called in to where I called in before, that the lady will say she'll help me this time to be a help. She's not a local, but it doesn't matter, I suppose. And then, of course, somebody said, when you come to Mobile, that's the promised land, and you're the Messiah. I kept thinking of, cro of crosses up in the hill of Calvary, so I didn't say a word to Father Dole, and I just kept coming. Anyway, I want to thank Paddy and all of the people who have made this possible, Jim especially, who has been marking it mile by mile, yard by yard, all along the way. Suffering various, suffering various nervous breakdowns, but surviving very, very well. Will they, won't they? And it's been a great few days, a great few days for me. But I think more than anything, it has been a great few days for the handicapped. Because all of this is about giving. And the people of Inishowen have given and given and given. And God bless you for it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Darrow, and uh, thank the people who provided the refreshments here and coming along. Uh, the people who want to come back to here, and all of the people who turn, uh, turn and are prepared to walk the rest of the journey from here right through to Mobile. Uh, we very uh, appreciate the effort that's put into uh, the ladies and the, uh, and, and, and the men who provided the teas here. And, uh,
Let's put your hands together.
people of a nation that turned out so magnificently over the last few days to accompany him round when we left Bridgian on Thursday morning to here. He done it, the people were on with him, including Deputy Carahan here and Councillor Eddie Fuller, who had been with them all the way through. I think it's great tribute to those two men that were able to walk with them and stay with them all the way. Uh, Jim Walsh accompanied him most of the way too, and I, I, I think we owe Jim a very deep debt of gratitude for all the work he put into it and took a lot of weight off the people here who were involved off, off their shoulder. Last years have been involved in the rehabilitation of the church of the executive. You see, such a service as they know that quite a bit of money will be added over to that organization. We have to be asked to contribute to the organization, and we do so. But you know, rehabilitation is something special. Join us the platform. So, without any further ado, I had you over to the man you have come to listen to, and you see, Donahue himself. Can I meet him again? A really Ushla, a Khadra. Put your hands together for all the walkers who came with me over these marvellous days. Come on, hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! They were absolutely magnificent. And early on today I played a dusty trick. I said it's going much too fast. And then we speeded up to six miles an hour, I'm told, over one little phase, which settled some of their hocks for a while. Or their collops, maybe. The collop is going from the back of the knee down to the ankle, in case you think it's any dangerous kind of talk I'm using. And I have done a lot of walks in a lot of places, and now in a lot of countries. And none, I think, can equal what I have experienced here, both from the, the beauty of the scenery, the incalculable and utter extraordinary beauty of the scenery, and of the warmth and the friendship and the kindness and the giving of the people themselves. And it reminded me so much of being at home. They were as modest as cock people. Every hillock we met had a king born on it. Every mountain we met had a queen who died on it. And every patch of road was the best road in Ireland, and so it is in any showing, the best road in Ireland. Um, also, I'd love to meet the man, though, who at the bottom of the Memoir Gap said to me, it's all downhill all the way. <laughs> and the gentleman around was in Tremont today who said, there's no problem now. I think it was father who said, the sun always shines in this part of any showing. So I'm afraid the priests have no power, but by God, he has great power in the legs, I can tell you that. <laughs> if he's as good and confessious, he's on foot, he's a hot property for your own tea, I can tell you. No, uh, also there was something else, more or less, accidentally precious for me in this operation, in that if things had gone well, I would have raised a million pounds uh, for rehabilitation. I do believe that has been done. I'm a foot millionaire in Mobile, and I thank you very much for it. I'd like to single out Mary Doherty, who is the coordinator of this whole operation. Put your hands together for her. I want to thank all of you for coming out and supporting us this evening. And the bottom line is this, is money for the handicapped. Thank you very much indeed. We feel the confidence. God bless you. Up to the goals. You have been very patient. We'll not detain you any longer because Jim Walsh might give me a yellow card if I'm late starting Mass at 7 o'clock, you see. Uh, so Mass is at 7, but I think in the meantime, we just express our appreciation once again to everybody, and uh, thank you very much for making Moville from the top of the hill on round to here. Very memorable for Donahan, the walking party, and it's most heartsome, and I think he got new adrenaline once they hit the shanty and moved on to Shrew. So to all of you, uh, a big thank you, and again, just I think a round of applause for Donahan and all of us under eyes. Thank you very much.
president of the concert be hungry to cut you again. See tonight, the best you have to Thank you very much for this.
I have just stepped in to see you all. I'll only stay a while. I want to see how you're getting on. I want to see you smile. I'm happy to be back again to greet you one and all. For there's no place else on earth just like the home of Donegal. I long to see your happy faces smiling at the door. The kettle singing on the hub as I step off the floor. And soon the teapot's filling up my cup that's far from small. For your hearts are like your mountains in the homes of Donegal. To sit alone with you and while away the night with tales of your and fairy lore beside your fireside bright and then to see prepared for me a bed beside the wall there's a rest for weary ones in the homes of Donegal.
something I'll show you about myself now. Indeed, I also, I also got, got some money here from the 15th Donegal Quigley's Point Scout Group with best wishes. Thank them very much. <laughs> Hugh Conaghan sponsored himself a pound a mile. That's well over the hundred quid. Come on, Hugh, step up. He spun their own with Charlie Hawhey and walking himself backwards next year. <laughs> I want to thank Quigley's Point very much for the grand reception this morning. The tea was very welcome. We were semi-hijacked a bit down the road expecting tea. And I was in the middle of shaking hands and I had the tea was in Quigley's Point. Okay lads, Quigley's Point. And the half a handshake was left. But the tea was absolutely lovely. And the cakes and the sandwiches and everything else about the place was very generous and very warm. This is the, uh, this is the last day in this particular walk, a fine bunch of young people. I see, especially the young person who's built there in the middle. It's nice to see that. Well,